day everybody we are going to work today a little bit again on the owls by placing those AB diamonds okay let's settle and yeah they, they are really pretty those diamonds let me zoom out a little bit now I'm working on a corner in here they are beautiful can't say nothing about it but this is the canvas that I have I fear a little bit the diamonds will be popping maybe a little bit I'm not sure about this diamonds but the other one I have in here spot um, so I was saying in my first video to maybe hold on till I fully finish this canvas to see what I'm thinking about it because right now I'm a little bit not very comfortable to be honest but this is not video uh, the video today is about I want to tell you best way to place this AB diamonds because it's not very easy not everybody will find it's easy place them because very often the wax would coming out of the pen because this coating of this uh, glitter this dust it's like metallic and just keep pulling the wax very often so i have a little tip for you so let's just try to place i just like refill my wax and i want to see how how much i can place before i get in trouble because it really getting kind of like sticky and sometimes a residue of wax can be sticking into the diamonds as well make them kind of feels gooey and I feel the stickiness already and I see already the residue of wax already kind of leaving behind in here what I have I have this little tiny no, like a maybe candle holder whatever I use them very often I put in here a little bit of the napkin and make a wet literally like a there's no water really in here you can see but it's just a damp paper and it's even too much I could even put a little bit more paper hold on let me break a little bit of the napkin in here I will put even more on the inside to make this damp and wet and all you need to do just to dip your pen to make the surface damp and wet okay just a tap it and when you grab your diamond it will still stick to your pen but it's very easy coming out from the diamond it doesn't create the stickiness anymore this work very very good if you just replace your brand new wax and it's super super sticky just dab it in a paper and keep going till you're more comfortable to like a older wax get because you know when you just place new uh, wax some wax residue will coming out like like excess of it so that's a good way to give rid of them even to give rid of excess for example I just do this little tutorial today okay uh, when you just refill let's say we just refill brand new wax it's it's full okay so obviously when you push on a diamond the some wax will coming out so what I would say uh, make it wet and just push it on your diamond can you see the wax around diamonds a little bit come out you see that so I will just now pull out this and uh, stick and stick and stick and you see the wax on my diamond right now so we're just going to wipe that excess of the wax and now it should be like perfect amount of wax inside of your pen so we are going to dab it and we are going to place it. so let me now zoom a little bit close to the canvas so you can see better those pretty diamonds and let's place a little bit sometimes I feel more comfortable to place like from 
my top to the bottom so maybe I will go a little bit higher and go from here towards me and every time I feel like my wax getting sticky I just dab into my water and this will help you dramatically please try it because these diamonds are pretty but they are picky on placement like sometimes uh, people get frustrated because it keeps sticking so just time from time till my wax get a little bit uh, um, older uh, could be depends on a wax as well if wax like there's a different um, structure I would say of the wax some consistency as very tacky some a little bit harder so when you have a little bit harder wax it will, will not be so sticky as uh, I used to when I place lots of diamonds of uh, like dreamer design their wax usually in those little red pads uh, was much stickier for me than from the other canvases like their wax more softer and I think the softer wax would more likely come out faster from the pen and actually was leaving a residue of the wax on my diamonds all the time so I did not use the wax too often but that would be also a good idea just to make a little bit damp like in just a dab it to make the surface wet and wax will not go okay sorry I forgot to mute my phone and, and it's went off um, plus if you hear any noises please uh, ignore because I have a Catherine in the kitchen okay so what I'm saying this also will help you to help place your diamonds nicer if you have a softer wax and diamonds keep sticking sometimes this is also good for the diamonds like those clear like a glossy gems but the most important with AB diamonds they are the hardest to place and it's getting sticky so I'm pretty much very often just dipping it but at the same time I could try and do different wax like those blue mm, blue let me zoom out a little bit this is kind of going to be like a little bit tutorial so every time I feel like it's very sticky this uh, wax that I'm using right now so I will get back into my blue tag and i will try to get the blue tag it's not very easy sometimes to put on the inside but it stays on a pen a little bit longer but also it's sticking harder to this ab diamonds so i want to try and see if i make this wax a little bit wet if this is going to be better or not literally just to make excess out sometimes I even grab it like tweezers and just push away see excess is coming out and just to wipe uh, this little tiny bit all right and we are just gonna be same thing let's dip and see if I feel more stickiness or not You can see those noises as usually we have those uh, noises with the blue tack a little bit louder and now see it's grabbing a heart literally try to pull my wax out and that's the time to make it wet a little bit and now it's good see at the same time try not to push your pen too hard into your diamonds just literally just touch and slightly place yeah it's it's sticky same thing sticky now it's even more sticky because uh, this blue tack is much stronger than regular wax so I might even will keep uh, this like next to me and just dip it more often into it but I'm telling you, it's so much easier to place AB diamonds in, in like this with this little tip. 
so try it and please comment let me know if you think this helped a little bit or not if you have this AB diamonds So I will be working a little bit more on this design because I want to create as much as possible. It's just I didn't have a chance uh, very much kind of to work on it. I still have some other video review to do, but I think I might will post this video kind of like a shorter video for you to watch. Oh. See, it's pulling, it's pulling. I might well have to switch for AB diamonds with the regular wax. It's pulling away unless I need to dip into my water more often. Okay. So I'm not going to be finishing this video yet I have to go for a few hours to do some uh, work out of the other city but when I come back I will be working a little bit more and show you how much I did because since last time I show you this progress on this canvas I did not work at all because I was like super busy doing the other videos so I want to work at least for a couple more hours before I upload this video so we can see better. Also I always kind of, I wonder if this uh, canvas will have enough of AB diamonds, we will, will we have a shortage or not? That's another thing that I want to explore. I know already that some of you probably will have some happen a little bit situation but I kind of not 100% yet want to say that till I finish this canvas and then we will explore everything what is good what is not I was going to email to the company and talk about this design but then I thought let me work a little bit more and see later when I will finish all this design and kind of you know how I before used to did test by shaking a canvas to see if diamonds will come out or not well that's what I will do because after a rolling hard I kind of feel like those diamonds a little bit poke in my hand so basically they not sticking too hard I guess so I want to explore more, I want to shake if diamonds will come out, that that's going to be a big disappointment, but so far I would say shouldn't be have a problem with round diamonds. But after I finish this one, I will probably test round diamonds as well. I don't really want to start like right now before I finish this one to see if round diamonds is good or not because I already created a few whips plus I want to do um, just get to clean up uh, I have to do the test um, you will ask me about you know the circle designs and lots of you actually pick hydrangea for me so I already put aside that canvas I will be working on it but I really would love to do a little bit more prog progress in here first I might well even work tonight as long as I can to make lots of progress plus there's not much progress I can do because on this particular canvas I work only one diamond at a time so yes it's take a longer but that's all right I want these diamonds to be as straight as possible 
plus they go pretty much close to each other yeah that's why we have a little bit situation like it's not fitting good enough so I want to do the best as I can and I will come back and show you okay my friends um, this is it for now tutorial I just wanted to let you know there is a little bit a easier way how to place them and I actually like this technique so I will come back to you with another portion of whip and chat when I place you know for a couple more hours so we can see more design because for now uh, if you did not see my first video let me just show you what I have so far in here oh, let me just turn around oh okay pull out from the tripod let's zoom out how much we can zoom out okay maybe I have to bring in here this is so far what I have I did lots of on a, on a okay my dogs will get loud now because my husband home okay I will see you in a second for you I'm back and before I said anything I would love to say while you enjoying with the sparkles I want to say big 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 thank you to Petra Wolford Shannon Orr or R would be Orr O R R and Robin Kempsky, thank you so much for donation from my friend. Um, and I appreciate so much. Uh, you collected $180 Canadian altogether. I'm not going to point it out who, how much donated. I appreciate. You know, in this kind of situation that my girlfriend got in Ukraine, every dollar matter. And I was going to send to her money today, plus my own money. But I thought maybe some of you would love to join and donate a couple dollars also. So I will wait for one more day. If not, I will be sending money tomorrow. And yeah, that definitely would help her to at least go and visit her son if his hospital uh, moved to um, if they moved him to the capital it's like 275 I think kilometers uh, from where I live uh, back home so that would help her at least to get the ticket and a bus and you know maybe some medicine whatever her son need Plus, she's still in the search for her husband, which she served paper that he disappeared with no trace, got ambushed, so nobody know if he's still alive or not. She's trying to find him, but her daughter, her daughter and mother-in-law did already DNA test just for in case they find his remains. So tough tough life so I appreciate you help me and you know I can send her more more money this way so if anybody would like to join and donate a couple more dollars it would be extremely big big help so now let's see how much I created because I went to the city like far away from me we did some thing uh, needed to be done but since I finished, I created this piece in here and this piece in here and just a little bit more in here. I'm working right now only with uh, 310. So this chunk I just created, if I can put, lift it up. Diamonds, of course, amazing. And you know, when I touch it like this, I don't feel nothing. So I'm thinking, my friends, maybe Maybe it's not much of the pop and drills yet. It's because I kind of started with uh, AB diamonds, then I started with regular. Maybe I didn't put like a straight enough and it's right now it's pushing each other. So that's why I'm not going to make my like decision right now is the pop and drills or not till I completely finish. Roll like good, good, good. And then I will see if it's any pushing diamonds or not but i'm trying to get it close to the window in here 
because it's nice and sunny right now outside. So what I want to say also, um, here's how much I still have to do some on a tray in here. So basically, if I close this sheet, I have a chunk in here. Okay, excuse me. When you see B, right? So in here and go like finish around, you see dark places in here. And just a little bit like on the face. So definitely should be more than enough diamonds. But also I want to show you that in here, that's all the scrap that I have from these diamonds. It's the diamonds that... Let's pull them up. Okay. This is the diamonds that was placed shiny part on the opposite side. You see that? And few in here, like this one, see this one, they a little bit out of the shape, like a less square, like a smaller little bit size, but just a few of them. And all this so far what I have, like painted A, B on a wrong side of the diamond. But I don't think I will have a problem to finish because this is still big bag. So I guess they uh, put, I would say, more like a good percentage of the diamonds in here, like extra. So you can finish comfortable just for in case you have some, you know, run diamonds. No, let's, let's look them. Let's look in here. So I think I'm going to leave this video as it is. Diamonds so good, so good, looking good, so sparkle. The only thing I want to see how this is going to look like because there's a few colors of AB that I think maybe blend in on the top because they are so shiny. So I want to know how this is going to look like when it's all done. So next time you will see this owl, I hope I can show you already finished. I will be working on it tonight. And you know, if I want to finish, I will finish. So as much as I wanted to actually do cross stitch tonight, I will be working on this owl. At least tonight, I will be done for sure. Black color. Well, AB black color. There's still lots to go. And the other, whatever it's darker up there, it's H I H color, I think also something maybe, or maybe it's a blue, I don't remember. But this is what we have so far. Hard to see because of the sunshine reflecting. But looks looks good. I just love how it's playing those diamonds. <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you so much. And as I mentioned before, if you would like to donate to my best, best friend, almost like my sister, a few dollars to help her cope in this difficult, difficult time, that would be greatly appreciated. And thank you who did support already. I'm surprised that actually you sent as as much already so that is going to be huge huge help she will be very actually surprised and i hope it will help her at least a little bit okay my friends i will see you with my next video